What's up, guys? Mike here at Trader at True Trading Group, October 11th. Um, a nice day. I just made one trade today. It was a nice one. It was short JNUG. Made a nice chunk of change on it. But the highlight of this video is SES. SES is a small cap that gapped up today and is experiencing a monster short squeeze here after the bell. Um, this stock was trading at $3, now trading at eight, when as high as nine. The reason why that's the focus of this video and why this is important is because I need for you guys to all get ready for Monday. Why am I saying that? I'm gonna talk to you about my JNUG trade in a second. There's a couple things I wanna talk to you about that trade. But first, small caps have been so dead over these last several weeks. Volume has been extremely light. They've given you one and done type moves. The easiest trade in the market right now has been if you can get a borrow on some of these like hard to borrow small caps, if you could, these stocks gap up, they push for the first maybe 45 minutes to hour of the day, then they crap out, volume dries off, they pull back and they just die the next couple of days. That's been the, sh that's been the play for those of, I don't, I don't usually short those stocks, but you know, I do, I know a lot of people do. You haven't gotten real follow through. You haven't gotten really good volume. You haven't gotten afternoon highs. You haven't gotten day two, day three moves out of these small caps. The, that, the small cap sector has been dead. Okay. I've been focusing on other things like I've, I've traded JNUG a lot. I've been trading Roku a lot, spy options. I've been trading a lot and I've been doing really well. Um, and I've been really kind of staying away from small caps, but this is the stuff that wakes them back up. So a move like this, SES, where you get afternoon highs and then a real short squeeze, this is the type of move that can wake up the small cap sector. This is a big squeeze. This is a big move. Obviously, will be on my watch list on Monday. But more importantly, small caps, I'm going to start to take a lot more seriously. I didn't trade SES today because I just, I've been doing well in other things. And I, I really, I haven't trusted small caps. I haven't really had a reason to trust them. Okay. But with a move like this in SES, it really gives you some, some hope and promise that maybe next week, um, we can get some small caps that really start to wake up and the weeks to come could be for some really good, exciting trading. Okay. So that's why, that's what I want to start this video with. I want you guys to really get ready on Monday, get in chat early. Um, Tuesday, the chat room is open free. If you guys aren't a member, Tuesday, the chat room is open free. You can come and chat with us for free. Just go to truetradinggroup.com and you can register to, to come into TTG Tuesday for free. But I think we're going to have some good action here in small caps. I think this is going to wake wake that sector up. So get ready for it. Now, let's get on to my JNUG trade. And something I want to talk to you about before I get into the technicals on this trade is, guys, while the market's been a little slower lately and and, you know, things have been it's been a tougher trade because you've had you know news headlines with U.S. and China trade talks that have moved the markets up and down and up and down. And the sentiment has changed so much from bullish to bearish so quickly. It's been a tougher trade. I have really, really gotten very, very picky, very selective. I am already a, a, a selective trader. I always teach our members to be snipers, not machine gunners. Really pick your spots, make them count. I don't trade 10, 12 times during the day, okay? It's, it's rare you ever see me make more than four or five trades in a single day, and lately it's been one or two, um, but I make them count. And when things are slower, and these last couple of weeks my watch list has been really small, I'm really, really honing in and focusing on one or two plays, and it's been really, really working out for me lately. It's exactly what I did today in JNUG. I caught a real nice short in the morning was all I needed to book a nice day and end the week on a high note. And now we can go into next week looking for maybe small caps to start to wake back up and we can start trading small caps again. Okay, so let's get to this JNUG trade. Uh, JNUG guys with a gap down today, gold gap down as the SPY gapped up on China, US um, trade highlights and you know some positivity around what was going on there. We've got a, a phase one deal. Um, that was was agreed to today between Trump and China. So that that was all good things. We had a, a gap up in the market. Market um, was we were up about fi over 500 points at the highs, and then we finished the day up about 300. But um, nonetheless, guys, we had a gap down in gold. 
um, gap up in the spy, and I was looking for to short J Nug because as I go out in J Nug, you see this like little rounded consolidation here. You see how it's like we're just kind of like a rounded. It looks like almost starts to look like. Let me go to a 15 minute chart. Almost starts to look like an inverted cup and handle, right? It's like here's the down move, here's the cup, and then we got to create a handle before you get the next the next move lower. And when I go out to the daily chart on JNUG and I zoom this in, it's like you see this little, you know, this little upward movement here. I just felt like, you know, we just had a ch nice chance to roll this over as U.S. and China trade hopes increase. That lessens fears of a recession. That puts pressure on the price of gold. And that would put pressure on JNUG, which is the ETF. That's the three times bull junior mining companies. OK, so on that gap down, I'm looking to get short and I'm looking to ride JNUG down. Let me go back to the 15 minute chart so we can talk about some price targets. My final my eventual target, guys, was going to be right around 60, which is right there. OK, that this little previous pivot bottom right here around 60. All right. And I thought if we can get below this area. OK, this 62.50 area, if we can get below this. That's why I thought we had a chance to really get some downside action and get down to that previous pivot low. And that was the game plan. OK, that was the game plan coming into the trade. All right. So let's go back to the three minute right off the bell. Let me zoom in so you can see things more clearly. All right. Right off the bell here, we kind of open up and we start to put in like kind of a little bit of a wedge pattern. All right. A little bit of a micro wedge pattern here. And with VWAP acting as resistance, this orange line on my screen, you can see was acting as resistance holding JNUG down. And I went ahead, guys, right on this little red candle here as it looked like we were going to break down below this little wedge. I got short JNUG right there at 63.41. I'll take you guys to my trade announcements. Here we are, short JNUG 63.41. Okay. And then bang, we had this big sharp break. Look at how VWAP held as resistance. And what I'm looking at now was you see how we had the trade line working its way down. And when I entered this trade right here at 63.41, my stop loss was a new high of the day because you had the trade line was lining up with that initial morning high. And I said, if we break above that, then I'll exit the position. I'll probably be wrong. And JNUG probably goes red to green so that that was my stop loss on the trade. But you can see we never even attempted that. VWAP held resistance, pushed us all the way down. And when we broke down here, guys, my first take profit was right in front of 62. So 62.02, right there was my first take profit. We extended even further. And then I took the bulk of my position off the table at 61.47. Okay, so I covered 25% at 62.02. I covered 50% at 61.47. And then I said, here's my trade line VWAP crossover. Now I'm going to look for that trade line to push us down to my final profit target, which was 60. And right there is my final take profit at 60.15, where I took the last piece of my position off the table. And this is a nice little trade, short, cover, cover, cover. And that ends up, you know, kind of being the lows of the day. We had a real nice bounce off that area, eventually went back down towards those lows later in the day, still held support, was still above that level. And that's why that was my final take profit target. And with, this was a nice trade. You know, and so when you make a trade like this, it's like, you know, all it takes is one trade like this to really make your day. And when you really nail it, and I just protected my profits the rest of the day, and then SES started going crazy. I didn't trade it, but I'm paying very close attention to it because that could wake up the small cap sector. So I really want you guys to come in on Monday or next week in general and really focus and get ready to uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, start to trade some small caps again. Have a good weekend, everybody. I'll see you guys all in chat on Monday. Take care.